But now we turn to sport, with the final of the United Kingdom Indoor Bowls Championship and International Rugby. Bill McLaren commentates on the try highlights from Wales against New Zealand. But first, Scotland's match with Fiji. Beautifully laid back by Geoffrey Armstrong, David Scholl, Scholl thumping on. Good tackle there by Enderi, on to Marshall, Marshall going for the line, he had Ken Milne inside him, five, six metres short, magnificent bust there by the Scottish forward. That was rousing play, John. Really good play by the Scottish forwards, Bill, and I was delighted to see Graeme Marshall get a run there. Gra Graeme's actually one of the quickest players down at Philip Hall, and, and it really showed there. restarted and David Soul driving again on to Derek White, Derek White to Ken Milne, Ken Milne his first drive for Scotland, no wonder he threw it up in the air, you can see the delight written all over his face, it was David Soul who led it once more, what a forward this has fellas become and look at the support from Derek White, the way they laid the ball off and Ken Milne actually sidestepped before he drove over, a splendid forwards try. Better ball this time, Serevi, dummies and dodges. This is what he did at Hong Kong Sim, but that's a dangerous one, Lin in. Scott Hastings with a great chance here, Gavin Hastings. Hastings going all the way. Look at him surging on, 15 stones of him. They couldn't put him on the floor. And my goodness, this game really is erupting into a tremendous contest. Just the kind of rugby football this big crowd were hoping to see. Chalmers, White, Armstrong. This is Stanger. Stanger going to score a deadly try. What a moment for the young fella from Hoy. Absolutely thrilled. A try in his first international. And Scotland stretching away. It was a superb score. Notice how Stanger came beautifully off his right foot. And he had the pace to get there. Armstrong waits, the Scots forwards are left with it. This is Chris Gray driving. Super move that from the scrimmage. Armstrong picks up. Nicely out there to Stanger. His second try. And again it was the forwards who really made it with the drive first by Chris Gray, then Armstrong. And look how Stanger brushed past three tackles. A super big wings try. Armstrong goes. Stanger isn't going to get free. A metre short. The drive over the try may be given. Let's see who comes up last. It was a forward try, I'm sure. Chris Gray, the big lad from Nottingham. His first try for Scotland in an international. It was a lovely scrummage that made it. The, the wide run by Armstrong enabled Stanger to come in on the scissors. He got within a metre. Nandruku's tackle saved him. But then the heavyweights came up. Great drive over. What a score. They're not having a battle, are they? It's just a friendly cuddle, surely. Two little scrum halves. <laughs> it's been, actually, the game's been conducted in... Uh, in really good style from the point of view of nastiness it's been excellent in that respect armstrong long pass out there to gavin hastings oh what a try and what a pass a magnificent pass from armstrong and there's no stopping gavin hastings the crowd were simply delighted with that the kilted lads up there on their feet it was a superb effort watch how gary armstrong dummied and kidded and then whoop, Look at the length of it, it went about 20 metres, and Gavin Hastings angling his run quite magnificently, what a score. Basu Hulangi did well. Erenavula, Nandruku, drive on there by Naruma, this uh, other big flank forward. Teleni once more, notice how he gets into it, Naituku, chance for Serevi. Serevi out there to Lobo, Lobo going for the corner, what a tackle, the try is given, referee decided that he got it down, Scott Hastings thinks he touched the line, but the try is given, 
and the little fella who started out as a, an international with the Tonga national side has now scored his first try in an international for Fiji. He really did some lovely dancing. Teleni started it off first of all, and notice how they missed out with that was Naituku a prop, and then Serevi. Serevi chased by Gavin Hastings, but this little fella Lobo, notice his foot touched the line, it wasn't a try, but of course, if the referee says it's four points, it's four points. And another of the Scots hat, but Teleni takes the tap penalty. Vasuvulangi, Nandruku. Good tackle by Craig Chalmers. On there to Savai. Savai, this huge lock forward. A great chance there for Naituku. To Teleni. There's a great try here for Rassari, the lock. Brilliant play by the Fijians. They've really caught Scotland a bit cold here. Misaki Rassari. Just watch how they built it up. This is what Nandruku, first of all, who's been so elusive all afternoon and so strong. And then Savai, one of the lock forwards. Naituku was the link man. And then out it came to Rassari. Boom, boom, boom. He made it. Armstrong, Chalmers, Scott Hastings, Lenin, Lenin on to Jeffrey, Jeffrey to White. Great tackling by the Fijians there, their cover was excellent. Scotland still, I think, in charge of the ball. Cronin ripping and driving. That was Rassari who managed to get it. Now it's along the line there to Scott Hastings, to Tukolo, Tukolo. The ball is down, the try is scored. And Ivan Tukolo scores his ninth try for Scotland. Just watch it here. The forwards had done the first uh, bit of uh, driving. And then Chalmers with the long ball out. And you can see here the pass going to Tukolo from Scott Hastings. And, well, he's strong enough to get there despite Erin Avula's tackle. And that has been another Murrayfield spectacular. And this a desperate position to defend all kinds of moves on. Look at Grant Fox going up there to tell Graham Bashup his new scrum half exactly what's required. Will they go for a shove over? The Welsh have held them. Bashup, and it's almost the young fella Craig Innes getting over. The referee has his hand up. The try is given. And New Zealand are ahead. And would you believe it? In his very first international, only his fifth game, in an All Blacks jersey, Craig Innes has scored. What a debut. Well, it's a fairy tree, dream come true for Innes. But you notice here, he moves off the uh, right side wing. There's a dummy run there. But just look for the support that Shelford and his whole back row give him here. That they're the guys that give him the impetus to take him over the line for the score. Stanley. Gallagher. Gallagher is clean through. Gallagher feeding on the try for Bashup. And Bashup also has scored. The two new caps in the New Zealand side have scored tries on their debut. Watch also for a magnificent tackle by Robert Jones because Bashup fed them away to Joe Stanley. Notice how the fullback looked. Now watch this tackle. Number nine, Robert Jones. Boom. Puts him on the floor, but Bashup was there. Mark Jones couldn't catch him. A super try. The cut by Murray Pierce, Basha onto Shelford. The Welsh 22, another lovely ball left, Basha, Fox, Fox to Schuster, Gallagher once again, Gallagher like lightning, out there for second try for Craig Innes. Oh, what a debut for the 20-year-old. He came here as a 19-year-old out of the New Zealand Colt side. And, and again, it was the, you see Shelford there, he takes out, commits the midfield, takes out, standoff, and the centre, and when the ball comes out, really it's uh, Gallagher that we should be looking for, coming into the line there at pace. He strains it up nicely. I'm certain the referee could well have a look at that one again, because it certainly looked a forward pass to me as Innes went in for the try. Bash up. Schuster. Wolf, he's found a lot of space. And it's Emir who has to go back there with half a New Zealand after him. Look at Gallagher. Good fall by Emir. Good follow-up tackle by Innes. Now it's Gallagher. He's away again. Almost up to the Welsh 22. 
There's Errol driving on. It's Bishop once more. Out to the open side to Fox. The feed on to Stanley. Stanley on to McDowell. Great tackle by Mark Jones. The pick up by Bishop. Out to Brewer. This is Fox. Terry Wright. Wright is home. Terry Wright scores once more against Wales. His fifth try against Wales in the last three times the two countries have met. 29-9. And they've only about 11 minutes of the match to go. And again, we see the support player, Joe Stanley, stays on his feet. He knows that support's going to be there and looking to prop forward there. And the ball, good tackle by Mark Jones. And when the ball comes out here, I'm certain that Mike Hall will be a little bit upset that he missed this one because once he evades Hall's tackle, it's a clear run in for right. And the All Blacks have won a convincing victory by 34 points to nine. It's their biggest winning margin against Wales at Cardiff. And they've done it with four magnificent tries. Well, now let's quieten down a little and move indoors for the United Kingdom Indoor Bowls Championship final between David Bryant, the 58-year-old who's won every title the game has to offer, and Northern Ireland's 29-year-old David Corkill, who won the first two of the best of the five sets final and put Bryant under severe pressure in the third set. Corkill leads 6-4 and needs one shot for the championship. It's the eighth end. Bryant is holding two, and there are just two bowls to come from each of them. Another brilliant draw from the young Irishman using the Bryant bowl, which was there for a forehand rest. So for the second end running, David Bryant facing a match lie. He does have two bowls left. It's just as well he's got another bowl left because he missed his line with that third delivery. Going for a blocker, trying to wave it across into that forehand draw, but uh, not really blocking a thing. Leaving that forehand approach wide open for David Bryant. This next bowl, by far the most important bowl in the match so far. This could save the match and win the set. And a shot in a million. David Corkill, I think, knew it was coming. He knew he'd given the master a chance to get in there. Not only did David Bryant save the match, he won the set at a stroke. Seven shots to six. After that, Bryant won the fourth set also to level of two sets all. Here in the deciding set, he's ahead 5-3. Well, in the earlier sets, David Bryant was missing his line occasionally, and uh, he missed it with that one. Corkill looks dead on line. The bounce coming back into his gallop of the green. Well, David Corkill's now within a full house of winning the match, and... That's not a bad start. Two shots to him. All out drive. Mm 
Bullseye. Jack goes into the ditch. The following touch in bowl may have run out of the rink in the ditch. Looking to see whether it's within the confines of the rink. That upright yellow line marking it, and it's dead on line. There's the marker for the jack position in the ditch. Tremendous strike by David Bryant. Fair amount of room for David Corkill to draw, but in the most difficult position possible. Even though he's got a couple of yards to draw to the ditch, he mustn't go in. Be dead if he does. And he has. The bowl's dead. Well, I think we can only put that down to pressure. Nine times out of ten, David Corkill would have drawn that shot. <coughs> David Bryant attempting a closer draw to the ditched jack. Must stay on the green. It's a better weight. Well, David Brent's a master of concentration, and there's no better example of the than that. What a marvellous ball. Oh, you should be more pleased than that, David. Surely David Corkle won't go into the ditch this time. Certainly not in the ditch, but he's not beaten the last Brian Bowl. No, then what an opportunity for David Bryant. Similar ball to his last. We'll give him the match. Literally, the bowl in his hand now could win him the championship. Line's good. What's the weight like? Will he pass the cork hill ball? If he does, he's won. He's won. And David Bryant, a tremendous comeback to become the 1989 champion, wins three sets to two. Spare a thought for David Corkwell. He was within a few seconds of a three-love lead. Anyone, anywhere can subscribe to BBC Video World. Just use one of these free phone numbers. You can write to this address. If you'd like a more leisurely look at these details, remember, of course, with video, you can always press the pause button. Subscribe to BBC Video World and enjoy an exclusive fortnightly for the best in British television.